My, M23, new girlfriend, F25, cheated on her ex with me and still talks to him. This is going to be long, really want some advice on what to do. We'll try explain the key details in depth whilst summarizing the less important points. Me and this girl live in the same country, we are long distance and met as we both compete in video games. We play together randomly, ended up being teammates for 9 months. During this time I always believed that she was single, she never posted anything or spoke about other boys and she even told me she was single. I knew I liked her after about a month of gaming 3 to 4 hours with her and talking with her every day, if I tried flirting with her she would bat it off and not join in. We never flirted properly, spoke romantically nothing, was simply friends and she didn't know I liked her. I met her in March 2019, she always had what I thought was a male best friend online, again a gamer but he lived in another country. He is a 2 hour flight from her, in a 8 hour train. I always suspected something was between them with how close they were when they spoke, how much they tweeted each other. She would always be in his discord, talk to him before playing with me, go to him when she's done and also occasionally mute herself in between games to talk to him. A lot of people suspected they were together. Anyway she always told me she was single. I played with this guy a few times and he never mentioned anything. Again over all socials, no posts, no flirting between them nothing. Fast forward to December, we plan to attend our first event together with our five man team. We are sorting hotels, meaning two people per room. One of our mates would stay with their girlfriend, meaning we had four people two rooms. My now girlfriend had to decide, get a room alone or stay with one of us. She asked to stay with me. The even was for the end of January. This was the second week of December we booked and sorted this. Over the next two weeks we start talking more, I try flirting more with her and she does it back. We get very close to the point I feel we can sleep together and maybe get a relationship at this event. Again I have no idea and still believe she is single at this point. Fast forward to new year, she goes away with work to her head office for two days for a party. This is one hour from my house. I ask if we can meet up, get some drinks whilst she is there. She agrees to meet me for the first time at a mutual friend's house. The first night we are there we hit off, we talk alone in her friend's bedroom and end up kissing a lot in her bed. Nothing else happened. I went home, she went back to her hotel. The next night she asks me to come again to her friend's drinking. This time we go back to her hotel and have romance literally all night. It was so perfect. We go back online when she left the next day and she was super romantic, sending pictures and being super cute. Three weeks later we are heading to the event, but she wanted to come to my house a day early so we could spend a day together before heading to the event. Whilst coming here she is constantly ignoring me and sat on her phone, online on WhatsApp, whilst on the train for the full 8 hours. I then get a message on Twitter from her male best friend who is still in the picture saying me and X have been together 2 years, thanks for taking her from me he goes on to explain they got together July 2018 and she broke up with him on the 10th January on the 9th Jan was when we kissed in her mate's bed. The 10th of Jan she broke up with him 2 hours later met me and we had romance. I was mind blown. Shaken and didn't know what to do. I spoke to her super angry and she explained their relationship was perfect until the last two months. Where this guy was super jealous, didn't like her talking to male friends she met online, their romance life had was peacefully deleted down, they met one weekend every two weeks, and that they felt like best friends with a name tag. I asked her what we were going to do as we were starting a relationship. After discussing she agreed to block him. Everything at the event was perfect, we went on constant dates and I've never had such good romance in my life, it's literally all we did. We then go back and forth to each other every two weeks until March. During this time everything was perfect, we meet up we go on dates, have fun together and have so much romance it's unbelievable. I never suspected anything going on with anyone else. Anyway we are lay in bed and she is sat up with me next to her watching a movie and she is texting. She was always on her phone a lot when we are together, every 10 to 15 minutes she picks it up, texts people and puts it down. 
never suspected anything of it because of the attention she gives me and how she acts. Anyway turns out it was her ex who she had apparently blocked two months before. She argued saying I cannot expect her to cut out her best friend, someone who's been there three years of her life, helped her through everything, she wants to call him at nights, text him, game with him without any stress she loves me and that will never change. After digging more after she left from friends, lots of my friends are his friends, it turns out she begged him not to leave her, wanted her best friend to stay the same although things didn't work out, begged how sorry she was for breaking him. A lot of my friends said this guy spiraled into sadness and hadn't been the same for weeks but was improving. They also said how he had told them on a certain weekend he wouldn't be online to game with his team because X was coming to his house for a weekend, X being my girl. Obviously I was not happy and I've not confronted her on this. This was the start of March, to top this off we were going to another event, in her city in March. Her ex who is a professional player would be competing and probably winning the event there. According to everyone she had arranged to pick him up from the airport, go out for food and shopping with him, he got there 9am me at 6pm, until I was there. I leave 4 p.m. Sunday and she arranged to meet him after dropping me off at the train station to go for food then drinking, would also meet him Monday morning for breakfast before taking him to the airport. I don't know how true it is but for everyone who I didn't tell to know the exact timings of my arrival and the event I'm 90% sure it was. Anyway a week before the weekend she was supposed to be going to him, never asked her, our country went into lockdown, meaning no flying so she wouldn't be able to go and the event got cancelled. Over the next few months everything continues, we meet up every two to three weeks, we have constant romance and dates. She is less romantic but still romantic online with romantic texting and pictures. Our communication is text. When we are both home from work we will video call whilst we game. I then go off early for bed. Anyway I always knew and found out 100% that since the day she broke up with her ex she has been doing the following, texting him all day every day, facetiming him on his lunch break, soon as I go offline, she goes to his discord and games with him, after gaming they call and watch a movie in bed together, sends him at least one selfie a day they did all of this for years but it never stopped, not even for one day since they broke up. When me and her are together she has no voice communication with him, she sends him a selfie still, and texts him a lot. Every 5 to 10 minutes she replies to him, whilst they are short there are a lot of hearts on almost every line. She does tell him she is sleeping at like 11 pm, so that we can watch a movie and we have a lot of romance whilst watching the movie so she doesn't touch her phone after this time. When we go for food she will take a picture to show him the food. She has shown me texts of them saying they want to be best friends, and continue it as they both want each other in their lives despite their past and from what I can see although they text a lot it's really nothing special. She has stated there is zero flirting and the second there is he will be cut off. I just don't like the situation, they are super close and every time I'm not there she is with him. Although she will never ditch me for him, and if I'm home even if she is bored and I'm with other friends, she won't leave our video call, we don't have audio on, and we are not playing she will never talk or go to be with him. She will only text him, but the second I'm gone she is there. I know she tries to hide it from me. For example a few times she has said I'm going to make food or I'm going to smoke and walks downstairs in her house and I can hear her talking in English, not our main language but both of us speak it perfectly, when she is home alone. Her ex is English. I don't think anything is going on between them but I feel this is hindering our relationship now. We are just under 10 months into the relationship it is going good. We are close but I cannot help but feel this ex is in the way now and stopping us from moving on. I feel insecure at times and I don't want to get hurt. It's my first LDR whereas her last four relationships have been LDR. I don't want to leave her, I love her to the end of the earth. She wears 24-7 a necklace with my name on, and apparently even her ex commented on it so she doesn't hide it from him. I'm disappointed she cheated on him to be with me. What makes it worse is 7 days before we met he was at her house for a week, they did sleep together and do other things. 2 days before we met, 
She booked a flight to his house for the week after. We met and got together. That next weekend she didn't fly to him. So she clearly missed it after the breakup. I didn't know any of those details until around April time. Looking at this guy now he seems to be in a better position, working out a lot, his socials full of it, and financially looks good. I feel we are both perfect for each other but I'm so scared about something happening between them. We have argued multiple times about her ex and him not getting anywhere with it. There is zero issues in our relationship, we are super super good and I'm so happy but I just want this guy gone. My girl already lied to me about blocking him and I cannot see her doing that anytime soon. Me and her also stopped teaming together for the first time in a year 6 months ago. It was the off season and I'm playing with some of my brothers for the next game meaning we will be playing a lot less. Although we will be on video call and still talking daily. In terms of calls at night, watching movies act. It's not me, never has been. He'll text her a little in the day whilst him at work but my work is strict on phones. Soon as I'm home she is waiting for me. We talk from about 4pm to 10pm then I go to bed straight to sleep because I have to be up so early. Weekends we spend so much time together online if we're not in person, we'll be together lunchtime till 2 to 3 am before I go so if I'm home and not going out she is with me constantly and won't speak to her ex at all. So she clearly priorities me. She has also told him multiple times over the last 3 months 3 different weekends she would go spend with him. One in August, one for their birthdays in, last weekend, and one for next month. She has never told me she told him she would go, or even that he asked. I have seen the texts from other people who know her boyfriend, as he is a professional and majority of their competing is weekends he has to submit reasons for not playing, changing the weeks. According to my friends the weekend in August she cancelled with him because of having a jealous boyfriend, we argued a lot around this time about this guy, the one for their birthdays she also cancelled due to having no money and she turned down the November one for the same reason. This guy clearly still loves her asking her to come, in terms of cancelling they never booked it. I know she was looking at booking it and on the day she was supposed to completely dodged it. She has also told him that she will go to him when she has a better job, currently looking for one, and has more money, she made a lot of debt on flights to see him which she is paying off. I don't want her leading him on, if they are friends be friends, nothing more. To also add, whilst she told everyone she was single and hid their relationship, she won't post about our relationship. However she comments on Twitter posts my boyfriend if my boyfriend did this things she never did before. People have asked if she is single and she says she is taken so that's a change. The reason their relationship was private was because the gaming community ruined her last relationship and she was scared to show it, which is also the reason she gave for not sharing it on socials with photos act. She doesn't like me posting about it either but in 10 months I have posted one photo of us kissing which got a good reaction and she shared it. Any advice on how to clear this situation would be appreciated. I don't want to leave her and I don't want to get hurt. I love her more than anything and everything is perfect. Too long, didn't read now girlfriend lied about being single, cheated on her ex with me yet talks to him all day every day despite them breaking up 10 months ago. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, thanks. You were her backup when she was with him. When she got bored with him she went on to you. Now he is her backup when she is with you and when she gets bored with you, she will start banging him again. He was cheating on me our entire marriage. It's over and I'm devastated. My husband, 32M, and I, 34F, have been married for just about 6 years. The night after we got engaged, I discovered that he had been romantic texting with people he knew in person on Facebook. His previous relationship was far more romantically liberal and non-monogamous, so I set the rule that this was not okay with me. This was cheating. If he did it again I would leave him. Of course, he did it again. He dramatically woke me up in the middle of the night a few years later to tell me he'd been doing it again. Honestly, I was relieved because. I thought he'd been doing it that whole time. 
So, we went to counseling. Not even six months later, a friend of mine informed me that my husband had been flirting with his wife over Snapchat. Both parties insisted it was one silly time. I had been working my butt off for two years to finish school so that we could go to Japan for a year or two. It was something we had been working towards and I had always dreamed of. We were literally just a few months from attaining that goal, so I wasn't going to let him take it from me. I buried those feelings deep. These acts of infidelity left me feeling undesired and I often blamed myself. They destroyed my sense of self-worth. Our romance life was often distant, sometimes nearing dead bedroom territory, but it's not an issue he ever really tried to work on. I sought individual counseling, thinking maybe it was me. I got an IUD, thinking maybe my hormones were out of whack. What it was is that I felt so undesired and untrusting that the emotional connection wasn't there and so I just never thought about romance. When we got back from Japan, we had rough year but things slowly got better. I started to feel unhappy though. We had a big come to Jesus talk about our relationship where we talked about our feelings, what we were going to do to save our marriage, and recommitted to each other. We finally started having romance and connecting as a couple again. That was nice. But, like, it was gnawing at me. I had asked him point blank if monogamy was okay. He said yes. I asked him if the instances of cheating that I knew about were it. He said yes. Folks, surprise surprise, he's a liar. I'm not proud of this but after 7 years of anxiety about it, I snooped on his computer. What I found was more than I could have imagined. He was cheating on me basically the whole time by romantic texting other girls. I confronted him with the evidence and during the confrontation, he revealed that he never cheated on me because to him that isn't cheating, even though I told him that is to me. Very clearly. He revealed he got handsy with a girl in my house in my bed, but since he didn't go all the way, I guess that isn't cheating? It's over. I'm filing for divorce. I feel like I'm falling apart update. Thank you so much for the support everyone. I really appreciate it. I am moving out next Friday. Hopeful for new beginnings. Your marriage has fallen apart, but you aren't. It was built on a lie, so you're only losing something that made you feel lousy about yourself. It's not your fault. You did everything you could to salvage it. Both people have to be committed, and in your case it was just you. When anything familiar ends, even when it's lousy, you always feel a loss, it's natural. What's important is that you get this part of your life past you as quickly as possible so you can start feeling good about yourself again and find something new to enjoy. I just found out my so of almost 5 years was cheating on me the whole relationship. I never ever would have suspected it. He was very harmful and is a textbook narcissist but he had this huge issue with cheating. For example he would have a dream that I cheated on him and wouldn't speak to me for days. Cheating was the one thing I thought he would never do. He berated me multiple times a week for a whole year because I slept with someone before we were even seeing each other. Hadn't even held hands with him but I was mistreated and degraded over that one night stand for a year. I have never been anything but loyal to him, even cut off all my platonic male friends because he was so controlling. He's a brilliant liar. I only found out because I found a journal type thing of his, by complete accident where he mentioned cheating on me. I confronted him and he lied and lied and lied, came up with every ridiculous excuse under the sun. I left him regardless. Afterwards I found out that he was cheating on me with prostitutes on a regular basis, and we had a very active romance life because he would basically force me into it on a daily basis. He also cheated on me several times with a man who is HIV positive. I've been tested and am clean thankfully. What makes this so much worse for me is that while he was cheating, it was when my 4 year old was diagnosed with aggressive brain cancer and given a very low chance of survival. I was 7 months pregnant at the time. All of a sudden I was spending weeks and weeks in hospital by her side while she was on death's door having the strongest possible chemo pumped into her tiny little body, horribly sick and in agony, while he was at home smoking meth and ducking prostitutes and other men. I just can't ducking believe anyone could do that and then I would come home and he would be so loving in between the mistreatment. 
no empathy or remorse at all. Now that he's caught and I have proof, he admitted it all and is now love bombing me with apologies and all your other typical narc poop. I'm ignoring him completely which I can imagine is driving him insane. I will never take him back. But now I'm a single mum, I'm 24, I have two kids under 5, my daughter is still on cancer treatment. Picking up the pieces hurts like hell. But you'd have to put a gun to my head to get me to take him back, and I'd choose the bullet. He's a monster. Thanks for reading. I'm glad I found this sub. I strongly suggest that you get counseling. If anyone needs it, you do. If you can't afford it, go to your local country mental health unit. They should be able to see you for free or at a greatly reduced price. I've been in therapy for a decade now, daddy issues, lol, but I'm going to really ramp up my sessions now.